Hello, welcome to my first YouTube video. My plan for this channel is to do some behind the scenes how to stuff for my film photography and like shoot stuff. And then also have some more fun, chill vlog type things or other planned videos to do on the channel to break it up a bit. Today though, we're going to sort of walk through from like the beginning to the final product of the recent shoot that I just posted on my Instagram. So just looking at how it went from concept to the end product. In a very thought out and responsible manner, I may have splurged on some quirky earrings at like 1am a couple weeks ago. And so to justify the purchase, I decided that I would make a shoot out of them and come up with a little look and like a photography series for each earring pair. And so that's what this is, my justification for my 1am spending. So to introduce you to the earrings, we have a whiskey pair, some light bulbs, apricot jams, a little cutlery set, and these planet goddess things. <laughs> I also bought these little ducks, like they're just little rubber duckies, but they came from the UK and these were all from Australia, so they're still coming. But I think five is enough for this anyway. I usually only do like one shoot, so let's get into it then, I guess. I usually steer towards a more like moody vibe most of the time, but for this one, I went for a more sort of fun party scene I guess. Um, for every shoot I always create like a mood board or come up with some inspiration reference photos. So for this one I was looking at like a silvery glistening party backdrop type thing and like a dark mesh layered outfit with a big fluffy sort of more luxurious coat and then like some sort of fun half up half down like hairstyle with like a dark purple tone red lipstick. Outfit wise, I think I got pretty close to what I wanted. I had that sort of grungy party vibe with like a more luxurious jacket over the top. Um, so I wanted the makeup to be bad for this one because did I want it to be this bad? I'm not sure, but it is now. So we're going with it. So yeah, as I started to try and vlog some of the process, I realized it was actually a lot harder than I thought to be a YouTuber or like talk to a camera and be spontaneously entertaining. So as you can see, I was struggling a little bit. How do you be funny on camera? <laughs> for every shoot I started to come up with like a little character persona for them. And so for this one, it was like manic pixie dream girl who uses her spontaneous party girl vibes to overcompensate for how lonely she is. <laughs> and here are the finished photos for this one. Um, so for this one we're going for a very sort of indie, slightly 90s inspired vibes with a set that looked like it came out of a 16 year old indie kid's bedroom and I wanted to get a little pop of colour on the eyes and a somewhat 90s inspired outfit. My outfit hiking ended up being a lot more indie than 90s but that's fine. Um, I know, but I added a bandana to it on the actual shoot so that's sort of created some 90s vibes. And here is a hopefully entertaining or satisfying time lapse of me making the backdrop. Hello, I now have the makeup and fit on for the second shoot. I didn't show the bandana before, but we're putting it in and I guess it's time to start shooting. I'll walk you through my setup first. It's very similar to the whiskey one in terms of I've got my backdrop here on the wall. Again, my camera will be here and then I've got the window light source coming in and then I do have another light here that I'll turn on, especially now because it's a bit later in the day and it's a bit darker. My character for this one was like a really bored, moody indie kid that's artsy and has a music superiority complex. And so here are the final photos for this one. This one we were aiming at being very light and soft. We wanted some major picnic vibes with hints of orange in the set and the makeup to tie into the earrings with the cute little dress and socks outfit. That's what my outfit ended up being. It was pretty simple. Um, and not gonna lie, the socks and the dress do clash 
um, but it's fine. It's just for the photo shoot. I'm not actually wearing it out anyway. <laughs> so I've just finished my hair and makeup for my for the picnic shoot and I've just realized that I still have to cut up the fruit for it so I'm gonna have to do that now. But yes, here is the look. It's just very, I don't know how glowy it is on camera, but it's a very soft glowy orangey look to tie in with the orange of the earrings. But yeah, now I'm gonna go cut up fruit. Hello, welcome to Cooking with Tallulah. Today we will be cutting some oranges and on our picnic we'll be having oranges strawberries, bread and cheese because, you know, that's a very solid meal. I'm sure that's what anyone would pick to eat if they could choose out of anything in the entire world. Definitely not just for the aesthetics. And of course, the apricot jam to match the earrings. <laughs> My character for this one was a Pinterest teen who either is doing aesthetic stuff alone or spending all their time with their boyfriend. <laughs> I don't know, that was just the only thing I could think of. <laughs> but I mean it fits because who actually eats a meal of just oranges and cheese? Like you would only do that for the aesthetics, so you know. <laughs> and the final photos for this one. like these earrings and these earrings reminded me a lot of like this photo series by Alessio Albi I think it is I'll put the photos here but um yeah I don't know just like the really relaxed cozy sort of ups not upset but like something's off home vibes I don't know so yeah I kind of wanted to channel that tired messy home energy in a more sort of simplified stripped back way with just like a random ass chair in like a white plain backdrop, maybe some smoke haziness if I can, and like with just like an oversized white button up, yeah, very basic. So yeah, the outfit for this one is very simple, but that's kind of what we're going for, so. This light right here, I really want that direct sunlight for this next shoe with the cutlery earrings. Um, however, as you can see, my bed is there, and from memory, the light travels down through the center of the room, but you know, is more on that side. So what I'm thinking is, I'm just going to remodel my entire room. <laughs> um, was that worth it? I sure hope so, that was a lot of effort. I'm out of breath. <laughs> So we are pretty much ready for this cutlery shoot. I have the earrings on and in the outfit and the set is all ready. The light's working. It's, you can't really see on there, but it's down there and it's slowly moving up that way, which means I should hopefully be able to catch it, which will be sick for the smoke. The character for this one, let's say a 20 something that is over life and is just having an afternoon to sit in there like disdain and exhaustion. <laughs> All very fun characters. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I couldn't really get this one to work exactly how I envisioned it, like the smoke, because I needed the light facing the smoke, but then if I did that, it wouldn't be facing me, so it didn't really work. Well, here's the final photos. <laughs> This is the one I probably went the most all out for. I haven't edited them yet when I'm filming this, but from just like the raw photos, these are probably the most extra photos as well, even just in terms of like the lighting. For this one, we wanted some very like ethereal space goddess type of look with some dramatic silver leaf flake eye or body makeup, some hella sleeked back hair, some editorial boss level black gown type thing, and all black setting with like a projected star or space scene. So yeah, the outfit for this one, there's not really much more to it. It's just the black dress because like the makeup's a lot more full on. I don't know, I think I thrifted this dress a while ago 
and I haven't really used it for anything, so good to finally use it. <laughs> um, the set for this one didn't exactly work, like I was kind of wary of the star projector things, but to make the stars still project and then the lighting still be alright for the actual photo didn't really work, so I kind of had to ditch that. I think I used it as a prop for like my backlight instead, um, but yeah, we had some sort of afternoon light, soft light coming in, so that was good. And I didn't do the sleeked back like straight hair because I ran out of time and I kind of liked pulling it back a bit when I was doing my makeup, so I ended up just pulling into a little bun. Yeah, so, so sometimes the concept actually ends up being very different to the end product. <laughs> Hello, so I am ready for the Planet Goddess makeup whatever one. I've got makeup, I've got the outfit on, it's already set up as well. Um, so yeah, we run a bit behind, so kind of sped through this one. The makeup's not amazing, but it gets the job done. I have now finishing the photos for this one, and I thought, because I didn't do a time lapse of setting it up, thought I'd take you on a walkthrough of the setup. So of course we have the back, the black backdrop here, and the original plan, like on some of the mood board photos, was to have like warm light stars projected, and I had this thing, except I knew I was, it might not work which is fine because then I used it as a prop to prop up my backlight so that I could get sort of a, not quite a halo effect around me, but like further away side to the camera of me was lit up. And then I had my camera and then the main light coming in from the window there. So that was, that's the setup of that shoot and it's all done. And that means I have now done the shoot for all of them. Thank goodness. <laughs> Actually, not it was fun, it was good. The character for this one is like a space goddess that has had enough with the mess that 2020 is and is materialising in human form to come save us. <laughs> but yes, here is the final photos. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. That was the five earrings and shoots. Hope that was somewhat interesting or entertaining for you. I know I like the whole pre-production conceptualizing stage a lot so I thought why not share it in a video especially when I'm doing like five shoots over two days when I usually do one over one day surely subscribe for some more content like this behind the scenes shoot stuff or um, I think the next video is a bit more f like fun chill or if you want me to do some like how to's on how to do these self shoots especially if you don't have my sort of setup um, and like for the ethereal space goddess to come save our 2020. <laughs> I don't know how to sign off this. I haven't thought of a cute sign off. So thank you for watching. Have a good day, night, afternoon, whatever. Hopefully see you in the next one.